I want to briefly show you guys a mushroom that I think is pretty cool. In my area, it's not necessarily common, but in some areas in the country, it is pretty common. And when you see it in some areas, you see it everywhere. The common name for this is false chanterelle. And I'm going to pick up a real chanterelle. I'll show you the tops of that. And then the bottoms of the false chanterelle. Now the common name for this particular chanterelle in this area is smooth chanterelle, or at least that's what they call it around here. And the European taxon for this, because I don't know the current North American taxon for this, is Cantharellus lateridius. But the focus of this particular video is on this mushroom, which we're going to call the common name false chanterelle. It isn't a good name for anything. False anything isn't a good name for anything because technically if it's a false chanterelle, then anything that you're looking for when you're looking for chanterelle is that's not a chanterelle is a false chanterelle, right? The difference is gills. Chanterelles do not have gills, but they have raised ridges or folds that's actually part of the flesh that resemble gills. The gills on a mushroom is technically a blade underneath the cap. And on the false chanterelle, you can see them wave. They move really easily. And you can tell that they're a blade if you look closely and inspect it and cut it in half you'll be able to see the difference between the gill and the flesh. Here's the flesh and here is the gill blade. So these are gills on the false chanterelle and when we cut a real chanterelle in half we don't have a blade. These ridges right here are all part of the flesh of the mushroom. I'm probably going to butcher the Latin name on this, but it's Hygrophoropsis orantiaca, or at least that's how I've been pronouncing it since I encountered the mushroom several years ago. <coughs> Swallowed a bug. We're going to keep that in. <laughs> Roll it! Anyway, uh, I think that this mushroom is really a pretty mushroom. I've always enjoyed finding it, and I don't get to find it too often in my area. In northern Michigan, I find it a little more often. And I usually find it around um, old deteriorated derbis and, and piled up derbis. Dawn has some behind her. These are real chanterelles here. I'm going to have her turn around and show you the patch of false chanterelles that are growing behind her versus these chanterelles, which we found on the other side of the woods. There's a couple growing right here. And I like this cute little pen. I think they're adorable. But I also think that it's important to know the mushrooms in our area. If we plan on harvesting and gathering edible mushrooms for the table, it's also important to know all the mushrooms that are in our area. I'll leave spore color and all that other information on the plates behind this video. Safe and happy foraging. <laughs>